Hey everybody, it's Rusty from Pickleball Channel. Welcome to a new episode of Pickleball 411. We've heard a lot about the third shot drop, but today we're gonna share another option. So let's learn and play. Pickleball 411 is powered by Highlands Leg Cramps, proud supporter of pickleball players everywhere. Today we're in Wichita, Kansas at the beautiful Wichita Country Club. I'm with Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright, two of the top performing pickleball players in the world right now. You guys, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks, Our Rusty. Pleasure. Now the holy grail of pickleball has often been considered the third shot drop. But as play gets more competitive and more and more athletes are coming in, we're starting to see a really good third shot drive. So what are we gonna talk about today? Rusty, we'd like to discuss some strategies we use and have found to be successful when using a controlled third ball drive and why we use it. And obviously having a third ball drop is very important to be a good pickleball player, but adding a control drive can take it to another level. So, let's break it down. The first scenario is when your opponent hits a deep return and forces you to hit the ball from behind the baseline. Hitting a third ball drop from behind the baseline is a much longer shot, so you're more likely to make a mistake. In addition, even if you make the third ball drop, you may still not have enough time to successfully transition to the kitchen line. The second scenario in which you could hit a controlled third ball drive is when your opponent hits a return with significant spin. The reason for this is because the more spin the ball has on it, the harder it is to execute a drop. So you're more likely to either make an error into the net or to leave an attackable ball too high that your opponent puts away. So it oftentimes makes more sense to hit a controlled third ball drive, hitting it at around 70 or 75 percent so you can control that spin a little bit more. And by hitting that controlled third ball drive, you keep the point going longer, which should in turn give you a fourth ball that has less spin on it, which you can then use to transition to the kitchen. In order to determine where to hit a third ball drive, keep these following strategies in mind. Hit to an opponent's obvious weakness. For example, an opponent who has trouble with a backhand volley or hit it to a player who is still transitioning to the kitchen line. If you can't do either of those, hit the shot you're most confident with, or just hit it down the middle. However, if your opponent stays back at the baseline, it's usually best to just hit it to that player and both of you move to the kitchen line. Remember, in pickleball, you wanna get up to the net. And these strategies are designed to help you keep the point going long enough to safely transition to the kitchen line. So that's your Pickleball 411 for today. We really hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much, you guys. And now there's only one thing left to do, and that's go, go play. play. If there's something you think Pickleball 411 should cover, we'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is send us an email and tell us your idea. This episode of Pickleball 411 has been brought to you by Highlands Leg Cramps, America's number one over-the-counter leg cramp medicine. For more information, go to highlands.com.